Eastern 2016. It's one year ago now. It's one year ago I lost my partner through suicide. One year which felt terrible every single day. One year filled with thoughts and arguments of people around me who were telling it was his own decision. He did what he did, let him go. And sometimes I read in the internet People are telling people who committed suicide are heroes because it takes a lot of courage to, to end the own life. And I think for, for 45 years in my life I was more or less thinking the same. I thought the same until the 28th of December 2014 when I was sitting in my kitchen by my own. All of my friends were, were gone, were not here. They visited their parents. And I was suffering at this time for four years at really heavy depressions. I spent almost six months in hospitals and, um, and sometimes it felt good and sometimes it felt bad and my uh, the situation got worse again from day to day and, uh, and, uh, and, and a lot of things hit pitted me and then uh, and then something happened at this morning something happened I, I was not expecting and this was like somebody was switching switching on something and and all of a sudden it I, I was not not really myself anymore I you know, it's, this was the moment, it was not my decision anymore. I remember so well sitting in this kitchen and start crying. I was crying for two hours and I couldn't stop it anymore. And I cried, and I cried, the pain got bigger physical pain included and I couldn't stop I couldn't stop it anymore and and then this thought came I it had to have an end I cannot go again through all the bullshit I cannot go again through all the disappointment yeah, I don't want to go on like this and uh, and I want that this this, this crying stops and, and this, this, this pain and, and all those things and uh, and then uh, and then more and more this, this, this thought came up you end it end it, end it now finish Finish your life now. You have done everything in your life. You have got a wonderful life. You have wonderful people around. I have got. I have seen more than sixty-five countries in my life. I uh, I wrote books. I made films. I I did whatever. Yeah, yeah. I have done everything I always wanted to do in my life. Mario, you can go. That was in my head. And I couldn't stop this anymore and I was crying and crying and then I started to get all the things together I need for killing myself. Uh, and, 
and then everything was prepared and 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 in, in my brain was always so what the fucking hell you are doing here call call your call your friends call somebody say that you need help and and yeah and 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 get somebody in your fucking house yeah and rescue your fucking life, yeah? This was one thought, yeah? But the other thought was, so... Finish it now, finish it now. There, nothing will uh, will be better in future. There is no miracle, yeah? And, uh, and uh, why you are for what you are waiting and uh, everything will repeat again and again and again and... Uh, and, um, and, and then, you know, I had got any control about my body and, and, and this, 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 this thought of, of what the hell you are doing here, yeah, it got smaller and, and all other thoughts were, were bigger, yeah, and there was no other thoughts around, yeah, I was not thinking anymore about my mom or my, my friends or whoever, yeah, it was just so, I was alone, I was alone with me and these two thoughts, yeah, what the hell you are doing here and, and finish it. And it was like somebody had control over my, over my hands, over my body and, and everything, yeah, and then I start I start what I did, and of course I'm not going to tell what what I did, and that's not good. And uh, and I was crying. I was crying.